When Nexus became part of Google's history, developers might have started to panic, but it's glad to see the bootloader is still unlockable on the Pixel XL. Moss and kernels are starting to develop on XDA. I've tried the dual speaker mod. That's brilliant. Of course, overclocking as well. Hello everyone, I'm Ray. Before all of those exciting flashing and moddings, in this video I'm gonna show you how to unlock the bootloader, gain root access, and install a permanent recovery on the Pixel XL. So here I've got a bunch of files to download, including Pixel XL flashing droid root.zip, extract it and keep it on your PC. This gives us the essential files to flash our Android device via command windows. Then we have superzoo something.zip and twrp something.zip. Keep it on your internal storage of the Pixel XL. Finally, we have a .img file. This is a temporary twrp recovery. Keep this on your PC as well. However, I strongly advise to rename it to an easier to type name and put it directly to the C drive. You'll get the idea when we've reached the command window part. Alright, then we go back to our Pixel XL. The first step, open settings, head to about phone, then click build number 7 times until you see developer options activated. Then we go right into developer options, tick OEM unlocking. Then turn off the phone and press power and volume down simultaneously. You will have your phone entered fastboot mode. Then connect your Pixel to your PC with a USB cable. Then we go back to the Pixel XL flashing droid root file. Hover the pointer on any empty space inside the window and press Shift together with the right mouse click. Select Open Command Window and type Fastboot OEM Unlock. Due to I've already unlocked the bootloader ages ago, so now I won't be able to do it again, but you'll get a similar interface like mine for relocking the bootloader. The difference is, you are now highlighting yes using volume rocker and press power key to confirm unlocking the bootloader. If you see the unlocked icon down there, congrats. So now we are putting our phone to a temporary recovery to install a permanent one. Again, go to the flashing droid root file, shift and right click at the same time. Then type fastboot boot, followed by the path and the name of the IMG file we've downloaded. For my case, it would be C drive twrp underscore pixel dot img. Then enter. It immediately reboots into the temporary twrp recovery. It takes quite a long while, but just wait. After you've entered the recovery, select install and look for the twrp underscore pixel underscore install something dot zip. Then swipe to install. This will give us a permanent third party recovery. Just reboot the phone after the installation has finished. It takes really a long time, but it's fine. So here I've come to the last bit, rooting our pixel XL. Again, turn off the phone and enter fastboot mode. Select recovery using the volume rocker and confirm with the power key. Head to install again, but this time around we are flashing super zoo something dot zip. Finally, we made it. Not quite. A whole lot of modding and system modifying apps actually need VCBox to run properly. So just go to Play Store and install the app and install VCBox inside the app you've installed. This is the real end of this video. Stay tuned for the Drew Speaker mod. It's now on XDA, not my work, but it seems to be a difficult and time consuming one. I'll give you guys a video walkthrough and make it easier to apply. Get subscribed and see you next time.